Stand by, guys. Here we go. We'll go to black. Well, you know the routine. All right, BFit Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another chance for us to move our bodies and progress in a strength or cardio-based workout. All right, team? Uh, welcome, BFit Nation. This is our BFit Live programmed workouts. Again, this is where we get to move our bodies uh, in a specific way during a programmed and safe uh comfortable rather workout for you all right speaking of comfort uh today we have a cardio based workout <clears throat> so again it's going to be a lot of fun but before we get into all that let me go ahead and welcome my guest senior master sorry, i'm sorry cat i'm sorry sorry it's like captain captain brad bush sir how are you doing today hey, doing well good to good to be yeah. back good to get, get a little a little sweat in again today uh good to be here yeah i'm, I'm so happy that you are here today and Absolutely. it's almost like an initiation for our beef nation oh, team yeah. because i know our team here has gone with some cardio based workouts for us today and uh, it, it, you know what I feel like they turned the heat up on us <laughs> a little bit today in here so we right. are going to get our sweat on hey, we're going to get our good. heart rate elevated uh, with today hey, in our good. program work I know you were speaking with me we're excited to get things going for hey, today so. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, get, get the heart rate going get the sweat going it's going to be a pull of sweat <laughs> earn that we, we have earned that we put in the effort and we are earning that for today yes, team um again today is going to be a lot of uh we have some plyo based some jumps some um some pushes some presses but we're thinking cardio based movements so our heart rate's going to be elevated uh any of one of these four different movements that we'll tackle for today uh we can go ahead and scale back and modify so wherever our fitness level is uh, let's go ahead and keep that in mind, scale back as needed, and uh, Cam Bush and myself will go ahead and uh, perform any modifications that we need to uh, throughout today's workout. But uh, most importantly, put in the effort, have some fun with today's workout, and just know uh, that we're just asking a little bit of extra effort from you today during today's cardio-based workout. Speaking of cardio, speaking of heart rate and elevation, I'd like to give a shout out to my, uh, my friends over at Hydro Flask today. They sent me some samples over here on some of their new tumblers that they have available. So, uh, for example, this is going to be their 28 ounce tumbler with an added lid for protection and for easy access here. So, again, perfect for uh, as far as being compact, for perfect for convenience and on the go as far as keeping hydration, uh, your hydration up to par, up to key. Uh, whether you're in the gym, whether you're in your active lifestyle and leading that active lifestyle, hydration flask will have you covered for that so shout out to hydro flask uh, I know I carry mine with me uh, throughout my active lifestyle day so uh, they'll take care of you as well all right so with that let's go ahead and jump into today's cardio based movements all right team let's run through the movements here on screen as you'll see the first four different movements we'll go ahead and demonstrate uh, each of these movements before we get started but as an overview, go ahead and screenshot this. Go ahead and uh, <clears throat> run through this uh, for these four different movements for today. So movement number one, we're going to go into a jump squat. All right, jump squats is going to be movement number one. All right, movement number two is going to be 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. So a little bit of uh, core activation along with some chest isolation into our push-ups. All right, team, nice core and upper body engagement there. Movement number three, we have a lateral lunge, okay? So if we wanna scale up, go ahead and grab two dumbbells for today or a single dumbbell or a kettlebell, whatever you may have available to you to add additional weight into that movement number three. And movement number four is going to be a yogi plank. And we will go through each of these four movements for today once again. Our timing is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, 20 se uh, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, team, sound good, sound great. If you have any comments for myself, be for the master room with this, or Captain Bush right here, let us know, drop us a note in the comments. I have my screen up as well. So again, if you were looking for any modifications, if you'd like to say, say hi to myself or Captain Bush, uh, let us know. We are here every step of the way, every rep of the way. I have four stars here from Melinda. Shout out to Melinda right here, dropping the four stars for today. Um, so we're gonna need every bit of those stars, I'm thinking. Uh, stars for power-ups <laughs> is, what, is, what, is what I'm thinking. Yes. All right, team. Again, BFIT Nation, cardio-based workouts with myself 
and uh, Captain Bush for today. So let's go through the four different movements or four different demonstrations for today, starting with our drop, our drop and jump squat, if you will. So take your feet shoulder width apart. As always, soft bend at those knees. We're gonna drop down to our low squat position, and then we're gonna explode up, getting a little bit of air in between yourself and your feet. Again, dropping down, keeping our chest up, loading up, and exploding up into an explosive movement, all right? Really utilizing uh, our quads, hamstrings, glutes, and those fast twitching uh, muscle fibers to get us up and out of that hole, all right? That's gonna be movement number one. Movement number two, we're gonna come down onto the floor here into our high plank position. A few key notes here, as Captain Bush is doing, our hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. Nice, flat back, all the way down to our heels and our hips are square to the floor. From here, we're gonna perform 10 mountain climbers, all right? 10 mountain climbers, driving our knees up to our chest, activating activating our core nice and tight and from there we have two push-ups so 10 and 2 once again 10 and 2 is going to be a rep count after you perform those last two push-ups you're going to go back into your 10 mountain climbers and then perform two push-ups all right as far down as you can if we need to modify we're going to drop down to our knees onto our push-ups lead with our chest and comfortably go down into our chest activating those chest press and then you're going to come right back up into your 10 mountain climbers all right Ken Bush, where are we going to work you here? Totally all right. <laughs> <laughs> Movement number three. All right. We're going to perform a lateral lunge. Okay. So come to the middle of your workout space or wherever you may be. We're going to go out to the right side first, like Ken Bush will do. So we can extend out to the right into that lateral lunge. Notice Ken Bush's chest stays up into that lateral lunge position, pushing those hips back. Co comfort level here. Go comfort level to your depth to your execution, to your comfort level, but lateral lunge to the left for 20 seconds, and then we'll go to the right for 20 seconds. It's going to be uh, the workout for movement number three, all right? So lateral lunges right here, okay? And last but not least, <laughs> movement number four, we're gonna come back down into a high plank position for that yogi plank. So we're thinking core engagement here, but we are gonna activate a little bit more lower body here. So we're gonna really, come back into a seated position. You're gonna load up. So you're gonna drop, drive those hips back, load up on our quads and hamstrings and glutes. Our knees do not touch the floor here. A lot of space, some space in between your knees and that loading up position. From here, you're gonna explode up into a high plank position, right? Keeping those hips up, engaging our core, our head is looking down, nice flat back, hips square to the floor. From there, load back up and then explode out into that plank position. So this is gonna be that yogi plank uh, for movement number four, okay? It's really gonna challenge us and really put a lot of blood flow into those uh, quads, glutes, and um, core activation again, just like we do on movement number two, all right? Sound good? We all want to That's good. All right, so those are gonna be the four movements for today, team. All right, uh, let's, before we get started, let's go ahead and go into some dynamic stretching. I know Ken Bush may be warmed up, but some of us need to be warmed up as well. So just like always, we wanna jump in with a warm body and our warm uh, targeted muscle groups. That way we can prepare to work and set ourselves up for a good solid foundation. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back, and we're gonna push those hips forward. You're gonna feel that stretch in your front quad, and if you want, you'd like to, you can take that opposite arm and extend it up on overhead. Get a little bit of shoulder activation, shoulder mobility, and mid to upper back, but pressing those hips forward. Go ahead and sit in each one of these movements for a few seconds for as long or as short as you may like. Again, controlling our breath here and thinking about pushing those hips forward. Alternate uh, after each rep, a few seconds, or again, sit in so as far as short, as long or as short as you may need, right? Take the time here to scan your body. Really notice where you may be if you've been seated for a long period of time. Maybe it's over the weekend. Maybe we had a few Netflix shows last night. Let's go ahead and warm up there, our bodies here again. All right. Last three, two, one here. We're going to take a nice wide stance, just like those lateral lunges. Uh, not being too aggressive here, but we are going to shift our weight over to the left and to the right. So our toes are fixed forward. We're going to shift that weight over to the left and to the right. So drop down or shift our weight over. Feel that stretch on the inside of our thigh. No need to pause, but if you need to work it out just a little bit, go ahead and do that. Again, this movement, as slow or as fast as you would like. Again, a little bit of dynamic stretching, so nothing too aggressive, uh, nothing with weight right now. We're going to load up during movement number three. All right, we're just making blood flow to our lower body, feeling that stretch on the inner thigh. All right, coming to the top of our workout space here, we're gonna go to a reverse lunge with an overhead reach. 
So we're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna extend it back into our reverse lunge, drop that rear knee down, left arm, right arm comes up, and right arm reaches over, feeling that stretch on your lats and your back. Glutes engage, quads are engaged. Come back up, come back to standing, and alternate. Good, again, you can sit in these movements for as long, there it is, or as short as you may need. This can be as fast or as slow. But take the time here. If you feel like you're tight in any additional areas, feel free and focus on those as well. Again, cardio-based movements for today, cardio-based workouts, so get a little bit of blood flow here. Last five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, all right, team, since we do have some planks uh, variations going on, we're going to come to the top of our, or the back of our workout space, rather, and we're going to go down to some inchworms here. So we're just going to come down, reach for our toes, feel the stretch in our hamstrings, walk our hands out into a high plank position, engaging our core, pausing for one second, and then retracting back, touching our toes, and coming back to standing position. That's going to be one inchworm. We're going to go down and perform four of these. Again, slowly walk it out, engaging our core. Maybe our hip flexors are starting to fire up. <sighs> Finding our breath here, stretching down. Hamstrings activated. Nice pause at the top. <sighs> Last one here, coming back down. Reaching out, again, high plank position. Nice solid pause, yes sir. And we're coming back to standing. All right. Find that water that you need. Find that towel if you may need. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our timer ready. Again, drop us a note in the comments. Let us know where you're joining from, team. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to see all the support here for our BFIT Nation team. All right. Again, any, anything you may have on your end, let us know, team. All right. Again, movement number one, jump squats. Movement number two is going to be 10 mountain climbers and two push-ups. Movement number three will be a lateral lunge. And movement number four will be the yogi plank. All right, team. Let's go ahead and start our timer here. Greg, we'll start us off in 10 seconds. We got jump squats to get us going. Get our blood flow going up in five, three, two, one. Here we go, team. Dropping down. Extending up again to your comfort level drop down into your drop squat into your low squat position Load up roll up off of the toes nice soft absorption on the landing position Pace yourself here as Time does yes. seem to take a little <laughs> bit longer. We don't know how long 40 seconds oh, yeah. until we're working through it All right team almost there out in 10 Loading up, quads are on fire here. Absolutely. Keeping our chest up as we drop down. Last three, last two, last one. All right, team. First round, we're learning the movement. Second round, we'll go ahead and execute and scale up if needed. All right, 10 and two here is gonna be the rep count. So we have 10 mountain climbers and then those two push-ups. Yes, sir. Up in five, team. Last right, three, two, one. Here we go, 10 and two here at your pace. Reset, down for your two. If you're there, back up into our 10 mountain climbers. It's okay if we lose count here. <laughs> Almost there team, halfway there. The workout There it is. Get that blood flow pumping. At seven, out in five, three, two, one, and recover here. Good job. Take a breath here, find our breath, find our, find our breath. That's it. <laughs> Captured. <laughs> All right, seven seconds here, team. We're gonna go to the right side first with 20 seconds worth of those lateral lunges. All right, lateral lunges here, extend out and drive back to your standing position, all right? Our lateral lunge, our lunging position, our knees tracking over our toe, pushing those hips back. There we go, five more seconds, we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. Two, 
Last one here and we'll switch. All right, let's go over to our left side. Balance us out here. Good, 10 seconds here. Out in five, team. Push through, three, two, one. Good job. All right, we're feeling loose, we're feeling warm. Definitely warm. All right, team, find the back of your workout space here. We have that yogi plank. So we're in that high plank position. We're gonna load back, keeping that back nice and flat here. Up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Our feet are shoulder width apart, dropping back, hinging at our knees, and exploding up. Think of a leg extension out of that back position here. Our hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. Feet and hands, shoulder width apart, last 15. Whew. Nice deep breath in on the way back. Exhale on the way forward, keeping our hips up as well. Whew. Last five. Out in three, two, one, and recover here. Good job. Appreciate you. Oh, yeah. Appreciate that round of applause there, team. <laughs> we got that crowd, yeah. crowd going yeah. right now. All right, team. <laughs> Again, first round is in the books here. If you're just joining, you have myself, Beef and Ambassador Moore Montes, and our guest, Captain Bass, Brad Bush, with Ooh. us today. Yes, sir. All right. Again, we're working through a cardio-based workout for today, team. Every workout has its purpose. Last week, we hit a nice controlled four movements for resistance training. Today we're looking at elevating, a little bit more dynamic, if you will, yeah. right? Every workout has its purpose, and today we're looking at nice, quick engagements. Nice, quick movements. 10 seconds here, find our breath. Jump squat, squats coming up at five seconds. See, find our space here. Feet shoulder width apart, trying to get a little bit more air between you and your feet. Here we go, team 40 on the clock. Load up. Good. And as Captain Bush continues to work through these smooth yeah. drop jump <laughs> squats, let me go ahead and give you a modified version here. Standing in that standing position, dropping down, keeping with our chest up, and exploding up. Good. 13 seconds here, team. Last eight. Job. Take our time. Last three, two, one. Work. Nice. Good, good, good. 40 seconds here. Any of work, any amount of movement like this can really test your fatigue on muscle Absolutely. fibers here. 10 and 2, here's our rep count. Five seconds, team. We are up in two, one. Here we go. Good. Remember team, we need to drop down to a modified version off of our knees with that push up. Lead with our chest going down, keeping our back nice and flat. Your back up for your mountain climbers. And you have your two. Good. 12 seconds. Good job. Last three. Two, one, and time. The pool of sweat is starting. The pool of sweat, the pool of sweat is starting. Yeah, Bush says. <laughs> we are joining you, B-Fit Nation. Again, here's movement number three here. Lateral lunges here. If you're ready for your weight, let's go ahead and grab one. If you have two, let's go ahead and grab two. If you have one, let's go ahead and grab one. We're gonna go up to it right here. 20 seconds on the clock. We'll hold with that goblet style on the head of the dumbbell. Good. Again, we're working through 20 seconds on our right side. Five more seconds here. Two, last rep, go ahead and switch to your left. Good, again, at your own pace here. Push those hips back, keep that chest up. Last eight seconds. I wanna focus on your toes here. Keep your toes in alignment. 
as it extends out to your right or left. Last one and time. Good job. All right. Here we go. Back down on deck here. Loading up. Think about loading up with this movement here to the back. Loading up your quads. High plank position. Keeping our core nice and tight. Last two. Up and one. Here we go, team. Driving those hips back. Making sure that in that high plank position our hands are underneath our shoulders good core is nice and tight good halfway there team keeping those hips up try not to let them sag try not to let them dip down good last 10 almost there good out in five Last three, two, last rep here, and great job. Great work. 60 seconds here, team. Take that breather, take that water. Mind if I do here. Good job, walk it out, shake it out. If you have any areas that you may be tight in, now's a great time to really shake that off. Freestyle on any type of stretching, that additional stretch you may need. Mm. Good work, team. 30 seconds here, again, with hydration. Team over at Hydro Flask went ahead and sent us some tumblers. Sent our B-Fit live some tumblers here. So keeping us hydrated, whether you're on the go, whether you're in that active workout, whether you're in that active lifestyle, moving from your day-to-day -day routine. Let's keep it in check, team. 10 seconds here. Great job, great stuff. That's good. That is really good. <laughs> That's a good car right there. Five seconds, team. Now that we're all hydrated and recovered, 20 seconds, I'm sorry, 40 seconds of work here with our jump squats. Here we go, load up. Good. What is this, round three, team? Round three. Cat Butch. That's this. Let's go ahead and turn to the left and to the right on our drop squats. Good, load up center. Are you good? Good. Just a little bit more recruitment the inside of our thighs here, forcing us to turn so slightly. Good. Good job. Last five. Out in three, two, one. Ooh. Shake it out, shake it out, oh, shake yeah. it out, shake it out. Good luck to pass it out. There it is, team. There it is. Round three. Ten and two here. Ken Bush. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh boy. What kind of push ups do we do in the army here? Oh man. We have hand release today. You want to do hand release? Let's do hand release for our third. We have 10 and 2 if you're with us, team. Woo! Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> Might need some more space in here. Keep working, team. There you go. There you go. Good. Good. Stay with us, team. Again, if you're in that modified version, down onto your knees. Good. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. Oh, yeah. There it is. Woo. Fit Nation, we are rocking today. That's it. Again, every workout has its purpose, right? Today, focusing on that cardio base, right? Movies, right? Maybe a little different than last week's resistance based movements, but paired together. Is and it? we can create that hybrid style of approach. That's it. All right, team. Lateral lunges here. Good. Again, if you have. Are you all right? There we go. Any way to move here? There we go. There it is. Eight seconds here. We're going to switch sides. Keeping that chest up once again, pushing those hips back. Watching our toes in alignment together. Last 20. Switch sides here. Good. All right, team. Stay with us. Be fit nation. Keep pushing through. Out in five. Last three, two, one. Up tall. Good job. Yes, sir. Down four. Down to close out. <laughs> Round three. Movement four. Five seconds here. 
Up in three, two, loading up with that yogi push up. Your back exploding back up into that high plank position. Again, two variations here of a high plank for this workout. So really focus on engaging our core. Our navel gets sucked back into our spine direction. Whew. Loading up into those quads, exploding with a purpose, with intention here, moving our bodies. Last nine seconds, team. Out in five, last three, two, one. Hold that plank and time. Good job, find that oxygen, find that breath. Shake it out if we need. Leave a comment for us, team BFit Nation. Again, shaking it out over shaking here. It. I, see it. I see it, some of us have a tough job. <laughs> Mary Jane over here, thanks for the call out. We're excited over here as well, team. Again, BFIT Ambassador Roy Monta is here with Captain Bush. Ooh. I like it. Sounding off yes, with absolutely. that motivation here. <laughs> you do. When times get tough, things get tough, movements get tough, workouts get tough. Daily tasks get tough, right? We can push through, right? That's that mental fortitude that we try to push through. Believe it or not, when things get tough in here, we push through with that mentality. And that can travel throughout uh, these four walls, if you will. All right, sticking with that 45 degree rotation with jump squats. Last and final round, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Good. Good work, team. Again, if we need to step it out, let's step it out, each one. Good. Good job. 20 seconds, halfway there. Good. Keeping that chest up, back on our heels. Nice control, show that control going down. Pace yourself, extending up. Out in seven. Last five. Three, two, one, set it up. Good work, good work. Not an easy one. Not an easy movement there. Again, shaking those legs out, team. Woo, yeah. Do what we need to here. 10 and two here. All right. 10 and two. Again, modified version onto your knees. Last round here. Let's try and get it, team. 10 and two here. There we go. Good work. Stay with us, team. Stay with us. Last 15. Good, there it is. Building that strength, building that resiliency. And five, last three, finish it out. Last one, and time, good work. Good work, take the time you need here. Moving into lateral lunges. Hold that head up. Find that resistance for that last and final round. We're heading to the right side. Up and two, up and one. All right, team. Good. Again, Captain Bush is demonstrating what a single dumbbell goblet style of lateral lunge looks like. You're able to have two dumbbells, split those knees, or split that knee rather. Let's go to switch sides. Good, actively think about driving up through your grounded glute. Good. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good work. All right, team, last and final movement. This is where it's at. Strong. Gonna finish out nice and strong, team. Last set, best set, last round, best round. Yes, sir. Easy. Easy work. Easy work. Ken Bush says. That's it. All right. Speak it into existence here. Drop back, drive through those quads, up into your high plank here. 
Nice deep breath in on the way back. Exhaling as you come up to your high plank. 15 and out, team, 15 and out. Last and final movement, last and final round. Everything that you have here, everything that you've saved all morning here, finishing it through the last four seconds, all the way through to last rep, and you are out. <laughs> oh, boy. Good stuff. Count that was good. That was good. <laughs> really good. Good job, B Fit Nation. Way to stick with us. There's that hand clap. Again, take the time if you need. Easy. Stay hydrated Easy here. That's it. Staying hydrated through today's workouts. Be Fit Nation, drop us a note, drop us a line. Let us know how you're doing out there. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. And if you haven't already, this is a great time, whether we're cooling down, to share this workout, share your thoughts with your family members, your spouse, your community, your siblings, your coworkers. Let's help keep each other accountable, right? This is a team effort here. It's more tough to do it alone, right? Let's travel in that Be Fit Nation pack here, team. We're in this together. We're in this every step of the way, every rep of the way. And speaking of today's workout. Yes, sir. Again, this is our, this is our cardio based Ooh. type of workout, our cardio style of workout. Yeah. Every workout is different in the past 95 including this one, yeah. has been a different style of, a different type of workout, right? That's what it is. We have not repeated the same four movements, nice. believe it or not. Nice. So there's a lot of foundational movements, a lot that you can take away from today's high elevated heart rate Absolutely. style of workout team. Absolutely. How are you feeling, Ken Bush? I feel good. You probably made the point. <laughs> Differentiating the movements, hmm. you got to shock your body sometimes. That's, that's, that's exactly, exactly it. That's exactly it, right? Um, whether it's cardio-based, right, elevating your heart rate, whether it's intentional movements to really focus on specific muscle groups that right. you're just looking to torch Absolutely. and to really push through that, let's say lactic threshold, yep. uh, if you will, uh, just push through that muscle group threshold right. uh, can really help sustain you, can really help increase yep. your stamina, your endurance, anything that you may need if you're running and moving. Whew. At the same time, this style of workout can really, really be beneficial yeah, to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, you're right. Yes, yeah, sir. That was a good one. one. <laughs> Fill it in the quads for sure. Yeah, <laughs> de definitely quad dominant. And, and that's, how, that's how we work with our B Fit Nation in our program workouts, right? Everything's right. programmed intentionally to complement one another. So um, you won't see a uh, same loaded uh, muscle group back to back, right? right. Uh, yeah. you're, you're giving yourself that space and that specific muscle group to recover yeah. uh, while actively moving through a different movement, right? So right. Uh, that's what it's about. I mean, it's just smart moving through today's workout, right? At your comfort level, at your fitness level, we can meet you wherever you may be, team, all right? Uh, again, let us know where you're joining from, let us know where you're watching from, let us know what movement was more challenging for you, or was like, Roy, Ken Bush, I, I have this all day, every day, <laughs> team, all right? So, again, man, this is our Exchange Be Fit Live program workout and our Exchange Be Fit program, team. If you are uh, next or near an installation near your go ahead and visit our exchange, all right, look for that Be Fit Active Lifestyle, Active Wellness Department team in your store, right? We have everything that you may need from fitness apparel, sporting goods, footwear, fitness trackers to help dial you into your metrics, your heart rate, your calories, your steps, uh, your movement throughout the day, right? We have those available for you as well to help track you throughout the day, team. That really goes a long way with tracking your metrics. Uh, I know I see Ken Bush wearing a wearable right now, so again, really that smart type of uh, soldier athlete, if you will, or performance airman, all right, team, family member, retirees, help keeping each other active and ready to go, team. Shop us online at shopmyexchange.com where you can find a whole wealth of active gear, active lifestyle, sports nutrition, things of that nature to help keep you on that active path. If you go from our exchange stores, if you look outside of that exchange store, if you look at our services, our wellness services, whether it be cryotherapy, chiropractic care, dental, um, optical, hair care, things of that nature, durable medical equipment, look for those wellness services that our exchange offers in store and at your installation team. If you look at our exchange restaurants, we have more than 1,600 restaurants to offer better for you options. Search through those healthier, better for you options at your exchange restaurants team. We have those available for you as well. Nutrition plays a key component to our active lifestyle, to our better, healthier lifestyle team. So go ahead and search for those exchange restaurants as well to help us get dialed in team. 
If you search outside at your express stores, look for those healthier choices shelf tags. We have more than 400 items on the shelf with this tag to help take the guesswork out of smart snacking options. It could be low sodium, low calorie, higher protein, uh, lower in carb. All right, These options are available and help you take the guesswork out. Again, more than 400 items there on the shelf uh, to really help with smart snacking options to get you from that breakfast to lunch, that lunch to dinner, and everything in between to help refuel throughout an active workout just like we did today with our BFit Nation team. Sure. All right, and if you're looking for additional information team, search us, shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFit or the Exchange Hub. We have uh, a wealth of information there as well. Anything from nutrition to wellness services to gear to workouts, shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFit or scan the QR code that you see on screen right now. Take the screenshot if you need to save it for later. Um, but again, anything from workouts, at-home workouts, fitness workouts, any type of tips, hydration needs, any goals to be fit, uh, partnering up with uh, strong bands as well to really just push through our active lifestyle team. Um, we have you covered there as well. Uh, Ken Bush, anything, anything that I'm missing? Any, no. any last words from you on, on how we're feeling with, oh. with our well-earned yeah. sweat puddle here? Definitely got a little sweat puddle going on. <laughs> and I appreciate you for having me and mm. uh, letting me join you for this workout again. Absolutely. Um, but like you said, I mean, there's so so many products, so many things out there that the AFIS and the BFIT program has for uh, our benefit. So definitely search the website. Uh, you know, buy some of those some some of those, some of those things. You know, look into the information, and uh, you know, stay active and, and be fit. That's it. Absolutely, yes, sir. I appreciate your time. Appreciate the hard work. I know Absolutely. we're gonna have you back on a bi-weekly yes. basis to uh, get our sweat on, yes. get our uh, <laughs> solid foundation on, team. So again, thank you so much, BFit Nation, and again, uh, thanks to the team over at Hydro Flask for really keeping us, uh, keeping me hydrated as well throughout our live workouts, team. Again, uh, BFit Ambassador Roy Montes here and Captain Brad Bush. Uh, signing off here during today's workout. We appreciate you, team. Uh, great work. Way to put it in. Uh, the hard work, the effort, uh, week in and week out. And if you need to extend any of these live workouts, please do so. If it's four rounds, extend it to five. Extend it to six. Ex if you have the time, push yourself through, right? We'll get stronger week after week together as a team with our BFIT Nation crew. All right. Signing off here, Roy Montes, Captain Bush. We'll see you in the next one.